What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today, another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today we have a big update released to one of the core Galaxy applications for One UI 5.1. We're going to take a look at that update, how it can help you make your schedule perhaps a little bit easier to follow during the day and make it easier to get through your work day, your personal day, whatever you have to do. Before we get into that, I do want to remind you guys that if you are interested in saving some money on your wireless service, you can do so by switching to my partners over at Mint Mobile. They have premium wireless starting at just 15 bucks a month. And huge news, which I've been mentioning the last few times that I've talked about Mint, is that they've just upgraded the data on all of their plans for free. No additional cost. All current and new Mint users are getting more data. They now have a 5 gigabyte a month plan up from 4 gigs for 15 a month, 15 gigabyte a month plan for 20 a month. They've got the 20 gig plan for 25 a month. And then of course they still have their unlimited plan, but now with 40 gigabytes of 5G, 4G LTE data right there, all the plans come with unlimited talk and text, nationwide coverage, and also mobile hotspot included as well. It's very simple to switch to Mint. You can get either an eSIM or a physical SIM. If you wanna go old school, they'll send you out a SIM kit with a SIM tool, pop out your old SIM, pop in the Mint SIM and let the savings begin. I know a lot of you guys had a great experience taking advantage of this since I've been talking about Mint. I've been using it myself in Phoenix for now about seven months and I love their service. If you haven't taken advantage yet, today is the day to do it because I'm still offering. If you go to my link, mintmobile.com slash Springer, it's in the pinned comment description as well. Sign up for any three month Mint Mobile plan now with more data and I will send you a free smartphone case of your choice from any manufacturer at any phone, just like my dbrand grip, which I'm actually rocking today. If you want a dbrand grip, all you gotta do is sign up for a Mint Mobile three month plan with my link in the description, mintmobile.com slash Springer. Get in touch with me on Twitter or email and I will get you out a free case. I'm doing that as a thank you to my subscribers for trying Mint. I appreciate Mint for being partners with the channel. So let's go ahead and talk about it today. There was a nice big update pushed out to one of my favorite Samsung applications, which is the Samsung Calendar application. Uh, I was a Google Calendar guy for a long time, but then I made the switch to Samsung Calendar about two years ago, and I really haven't looked back. It's been a fantastic experience, and I love using the Samsung Calendar. So the new version that rolled out, 12.4.06.15, uh, as of April 14th, uh, it's a 45.34 megabyte update, and there's quite a few new things added. So they improved the stickers. In fact, I'm going to show you the improvements because I've got another Galaxy phone here, my other S23 Ultra to the side, that does not have the update. So we'll, we'll slide that in a minute when we look at the compare them. They added option to hide the search history, which might be really beneficial for a lot of you. When you go to search the calendar, all of your search history comes down. It can also clutter up the interface a little bit, so they remove that. They added repetition option automatically on quick add menus. So basically, if you do a quick add event on the calendar, uh, it's going to repeat your most frequently used options and things like that. Certainly something that you'll notice in a day-to-day -day fashion. If you use the calendar, a lot will save you a lot of time. And they improved the reminder category colors. I can't really tell a huge difference between them. But again, I have another S23 Ultra that doesn't have the update. So we can kind of look at them and uh, compare them. And so you guys can see the differences. So let me actually bring in the other phone here. Let me move my field notes out of the way so I can slide these two phones side by side because I actually have Samsung Calendar on both. This one on the right has the update. My other S23 Ultra over here does not have the update. Let's go ahead and just open up the calendar on both of the phones. And then first, let me go ahead and show you the new option with the search results. If you go up here and you go to search on both of them, remember the one on the right has the new option, you'll notice there's a new three dot menu here on the right that's not on the old version. So if you tap on the three dot menu and go to search settings, you now have this option to show recent searches or turn it off and then you can hide your recent searches. So if you have a bunch of recent searches in there, it won't clutter up the interface. So that's the first thing that's new that they added here. The other thing is, if you wanna add a calendar event and you wanna add a sticker, they've completely, I accidentally triggered, let me go to stickers here. They completely changed the way the stickers look. Those are my custom ones. You can see here, they actually changed the actual graphics. They look much nicer over here in my opinion. You can see here the birthday cake, completely redid all the stickers. You can see here they actually added some additional ones as well. Um, this one only goes down to the uh, no smoking sticker, but now you've got some additional ones down here like uh, a medicine vaccine, a graduation cap, recycling symbol, uh, ticket, gas, um, gasoline, and a wrench and a screwdriver, a barbershop thing, and a dentist uh, tooth symbol there. So they actually reinvented a bunch of these. Almost all of them 
you can see have been redone to be better overall in terms of the graphics. That's not something you might notice on a day-to-day -day basis, but it's definitely nice that Samsung takes time to think about these small things, these small improvements. Uh, not every single company takes time to think about these things. So I certainly appreciate that. Now, the other thing is if you go into the quick ad, which is down here, and you go into quick ad, it's going to allow you to then fill in all of your most recent information, uh, including dates, times, things like that, um, in the new version of the calendar. So if you have a frequently used location over time, it'll learn that information. Same thing if you go down here to add event, um, it'll let you add that in there. You can basically turn on these options and then it will make it so that you can quickly add exactly what you're always looking at. Now, the other thing, which is the reminder color improvements, I really don't know what they're talking about there because you can see here, the reminder app is now its own app. Um, and I don't really see any differences. I set a lot of reminders for eBay, particularly sports cards and other things I collect, but I don't really see any difference in the colors on the right or the left. Obviously I have a different um, color palette because I have different wallpapers at the top, but these colors actually look exactly the same to me. I don't really see any huge differences there, um, but Samsung chain claims that there's a change there as well. But definitely those three big changes that I talked about, again, I don't have the new version on the left, so the changes are not yet implemented. Anyway, they should be rolling out in the next few days to everybody. Definitely check the Galaxy Store um, to see if your phone has the update yet. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe uh, for more great Samsung content. I do updates, customization, everything Samsung. If you guys are interested in getting some premium wireless and a free smartphone case from me, if you sign up for any three-month Mint Mobile plan, mintmobile.com slash Springer to check it out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.